Hello guys, it's my orchid paradise. It's almost summer here in um, Australia and I have a very nice Parvicepalum hybrid puff that is in flower here. This one guys is um, both parents are from Vietnam. So this is called Puffupedilum Ho Chi Minh. It is a hybrid of the Lenatii and Vietnamese. So I think both the parents are from Vietnam. And I, I'm not so sure if Ho Chi Minh is a capital of Vietnam. So I'm not really sure. It's probably why it's called Ho Chi Minh because it's purely from Vietnam. Like the parents are from Vietnam. So it is a large, large plant. It's really nice to see like a parvi that is large in size. It is quite large, guys. I have a comparison here of another, of one of the parents. This is the Puffy Pedalum Dillinatii. To me, this looks like a flowering size, but it's not as large as this one. So I'm gonna measure this one, guys. This is not really a proper measurement. But just to give you a, a kind of like a reference, so. So this one is nine inches in width, while the Delenatii is just over five inches or 5.5, .5, so. You can really see the difference in here. Um, so let's talk about the flower, guys. Okay, if you have seen a puff Lenatii flower, it almost looked like this, but the difference is that the petals are not as large. So you can really see the traits of both parents. The pouch and the coloration sort of like a Lenatii while the petals of the flower is from the vietnamese it's wide and uh, let's see the size the width of the plant is like a little over four inches very nice size and shape it has a very slight apple fragrance to it um as you can see um, the buff Vietnamese flower, if you notice the labellum or the lip or let's just say the pouch, it is dark, like kind of like wine red. But this one is more of a Delenatia in color. It's like pink, whitish pink. So it has a nice here is talk and the foliage guys if you come this is more like more into the vietnamese side because of the wave of the leaves in here it's like more wavy if you compare it to a delinata it's kind of like straight and uh, the shape of the leaves, the Lenatia is more like pointy, while the uh, Ho Chi Minh is ob kind of like oblongish in um, shape. And the uh, mottling of the leaves, they're almost similar. Almost, almost. So, but not really like the same. You can really see the difference you can really tell that this is not a pure this one here is not really a pure delenatii but a cross and this is the i think the delenatii is like much smaller as an adult or mature plant compared to um its hybrid this is um Almost similar, the size of this is almost similar to my Puffypedilum Lindley Kupowitz, which is a primary hybrid of Delenatia and Malipons. 
so yeah so very nice i'm very happy this is the last one i got grown from flask and have sold its siblings throughout the years i only have one left for me so it's awesome guys so yeah um they're not hard to grow parvicepalum i think it's easier than multiflorals because they're more um more forgiving than multiflorals multiflorals is like you really have to um hit them give them a more warm temperature than the parvicepalum so yeah of Ho Chi Minh okay so I have an update with my I have shown this in one of my video guys this is my um, Phalaenopsis the Phalaenopsis Fullers because um, it has a three, three um, petals before so all the flowers are now fully open so this is the original um flower that i've shown before so three petals guys so the next petal here is also three except there is like a one extra petal in here so there is like a four and the other one is in the right side while this other flower here it has a four as well and the extra petal is in the left side and i got the last flower here guys this is like a normal phalaenopsis flower which has a complete um, petals and sepals so this is a complete one and the other ones are kind of like weird so I don't know if this is normal but this is the first time i have seen a phalaenopsis which has a different flower um with different i don't know petals petal count so but nonetheless it is very attractive very beautiful guys you know and it the texture felt like a felt paper so yeah, so now it is fully bloomed and uh, I can um, show you what it looked like. So all of them have different um, petals and sepal, I don't know, petals and sepal counts. Not one flower is the same guys all the four flowers are different so it, this is really weird as all my phalaenopsis have the same flower like the flower count is just no, the normal one like this one here so yeah so i'm looking forward to see another flowering of this plant the second flowering uh, i want to know if it's going to produce the same weird flowers okay so that's all for today guys and thanks for your time and i hope you like my video bye